All right, Kelvin, we are back mm. with the rain. Right? <laughs> yep. We just start recording and it starts raining. Summer's over. That's right. That's right. It's finally over. Mm -hmm. uh, feeling cold. I can see the jumpers are back. Yeah. And, Much uh, needed. That's right. And uh, you know what else is back? Nirvana. Nirvana. Nirvana is back. Yeah, this week. Set 10 in Japan is out. Yeah, and set everyone's 10 been, um, is huge. Mm. Lots of new decks. Lots of... Lots, like five new decks. Probably more. I think more than yeah. more than five new decks. Lots of support. Mm. Insane set. I did say it's an insane set. Yeah, I, I made a video it's... about it. Um, like yesterday. Sure. All right. We've been playing this this format a lot as well mm -hmm. because we're going to Japan, so should be fun. Going going in ready. Hopefully prices aren't too ex expensive. Hopefully uh, Mervin hasn't bought all the cards that we need. Oh, you can just, <laughs> I don't know, borrow around. <laughs> yeah. Bor borrow some, some Ava decks. Hit us up, yeah. Decks. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of decks. So let's not dally around. Let's get right into it, right? Hmm. So uh, first off, we have, as we say, the Nirvana deck, the Jiva deck. Now, it's back, but it's not exactly dominating. We've got a grand yeah. total of like a few. <laughs> yeah, because it's like a format where there's like so much removal mm. that, you know, when you're a kind of deck that relies on building a field yep. or and if you're making multiple cards. Heavily investing on your regard, mm, yeah, probably it, not the it best idea. It doesn't really last. Yep. Like we see here, there is a, they went with bills. So this has kind of protection against that, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but your main card is going to be mirrors. Because it just gives you advantage. Yep. So watching that die repeatedly feels bad. Yep. Um, or bottom decked or like bottom deck banished or bound like by Messiah as well. Mm -hmm. Luckily they have a PR getting released in May that <laughs> solves that entire problem. Um, they they just released it, but so they just showed it off. So yeah, it's a bit late. <laughs> still a while, still a while. <laughs> a bit to late. Go. Maybe they should have uh, released it in set six. Yeah, but also means like you can get your Varina cards now while they're still cheap. I don't think the Varenia cards are that cheap, by the way. <laughs> yeah? But yeah, I, I can... It, it seems like a pretty good card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the next we have is another Nirvana as well, so, Jiva. Yeah. So pretty much all Jivas. Say no, no more great for Yeah, so, you know, mirrors, still uh, arcs, arcs, you know, and then some expected plays on top of that mm -hmm. useless arcs after a while. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, this is also running boars as well. Mm. So, okay, cool. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, and then one off Eugene here from Tanks, who came fourth place. Uh, and uh, yeah. A resident Eugene player. You have to top every format, you know? So <laughs> yeah, got true. Please. Got to got to top yeah, with the ones. It's like Max Bling, look at it. It's like, yep. I, I, I don't know. There's like new grade threes. I don't know the name. The Gatling Gun dude. It's like, oh, <laughs> look at this guy. It's like, oh, I guess my FR is like a dud. Mm -mm. <laughs> Donated to like your fellow Eugene. Um, yep. Local yep. community players. Yep. He says, I like the 3-1 order split. So running one of the best harvests, mm -hmm. which now is very, very important. Because Gandiva. Yes. Uh, every, everyone's playing Gandiva and anyone wants, wants it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, best Harvest barely matters, but the deck thing is good. Also, like the 13k boost. Mm. All right. So, very nice. Very nice. Uh, some of the Overlords here as well. So, Overlords, we don't need, we need to a mull. Stay... No, mul it's, it's, it's nice. There's just there's an update. What's oh, the This one's running the Cycler. Mm. Right? Oh, th was the old guy running the Cycler? Oh, yes, yeah, it yeah, looks like the it. Cycler. Okay. okay wow. there, there are some updates. So, uh, you yeah. know, overall, if you're a deck. With these these new cyclers, if you're a deck that doesn't use so much, which mm -hmm. is usually your old older ride lines, mm -hmm. uh, it does provide some value. Yeah, uh, this it's, one it's is like not just running another it. Another way to like plus, because like before that, like your rigor is just like um sort of, just sort yeah. of chunky or beefy or just like filler grade twos anyways. Yeah. So yeah, we have itsev here, King Kong comics and stand ga and game standard shop challenge when undefeated with quad drive dot deck. New grade 2 promo is a game changer, waiting for the prices drop before getting the fo kid foils. The foils? The foils! Good luck, bro. That, that, that's pretty hard to get. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, and then Ministry of Hobbies, DB Tier 9 box tournament. First place was Marcus. Uh, Luxac hard with Overlord. Uh, here it is. Yep. Uh, Luxac, Luxac hard enough. <laughs> uh, second place was you, Kit. Uh, it's Kroget time. Yeah. And in mm. third place was Hazik with the willing to sell champion deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't end up becoming champion, so maybe maybe next time, right? Maybe I, next I think time. he won in some other tournaments, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. all right. Thank you for sharing. 
Bev Saga, so one Bev Saga list here. From Japan, yep. yep. I mean, still nice guess update, but I don't think you can run Cyclers in this one because you actually use up your soul. Yeah, um, yeah. You you want to keep that soul for your Bev Saga grade 3, mm -hmm. which is not that And some of your regards, yeah. 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 Tamayura, right? Tamayura here. Um, also not really... Yeah, and Tamayura is like, the thing is your deck slot is very tight already with like your 16 much. Um, dolls. Yeah. Plus um, the orders. Uh, one of the things to note, well, this is Leonard, got to top with Tamiyuro my first attempt Ooh. with the deck at my locals. In my opinion, this deck handles the meta pretty well, considering on changing the ratios a bit. I'm missing mm. the Forktail. Thanks to Ryan for lending me the cards you need. Uh, Forktail's pretty good. For Fork Forktail's pretty good, yeah. Forktail's pretty good. <laughs> deck things as well, right? Uh, is it expensive now in English? I think it um, is. There right? was a ton that was expensive, but also because it can be used in premium. Mm, um, mm, yeah. Mm. Okay, all right, all right. Good luck getting the Fork Tails. Yes. Uh, and then some of the stealth decks here. Mm -hmm. This is... Actual Shoujo Doji actual, deck. Actual Shoujo Doji deck. Um, right. That's a first for Japan, mm. right? Normally yeah. they're, they're on to the Nozuchi no train. Um, and here... It, this is, well, this is okay. it, it, New York Card Fight. English like yes. Shoujo Doji. So New York Card Fight. That is when at Fordham Comics was the Lost Uriel with Shoujo Doji. Uh, and yeah. This is just a cool Shoujo Doji deck, hmm. but congratulations, right? Congratulations. And then Koa here Ko from Vietnam, uh, C or CFE Denang local tournament. Uh, winner was Phi Hung with the Shoujo Doji mm -hmm. as well. Wow, a lot of Shoujo Doji this week. Yeah, <laughs> lots of them. Uh, Minan Tran with an Ava. So Wow, I so this <laughs> lost, man. Lost to Shoujo Doji. Weak deck. You know? uh, New and Lai was third place with the youth back. Mm -hmm. And then fourth was Hu Tin with the, uh, the Bav Sagra. Yep. So, uh, good job, good job. Mm, beating out so. Ava. Yeah. yeah. Shoujo Doji. Budget, yeah. It's like $20 deck beating $200 deck. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Grichu here. Top 4 IT OCG. Uh, 32 man D20 with a Bung Snick. All right. So <laughs> this sure. one running the Nozo Cheese. So... This, this I I heard I heard that this was kind of popular until Gandiva all around and everyone swapped yeah, to Gandiva. Yeah, like if you if you're like a Dragon Empire and you like this one, it's like ah, you're no longer cool and head sir. Yeah. I'm gonna move to like my best bud Gandiva. Yeah. Meanwhile, um, yeah. So best bud Gandiva is next. This actually yes. has like probably the, a lot of decks. Hey, one of the top one of the top, if not nearly the most mm. of decks this week. And especially for a new deck, it's quite rare because usually yeah. Um, like it takes a while to get used to a new deck or like just get the cards right. That's oh, definitely not getting the cards. This card this but, deck is so easy to get. Yes, so that's probably why we like see a, so many players. It's like a sub 10k yen deck, oh. which is pretty significant. Value town. Right, pretty significant. Uh, the way that it's built though right now is kind of... It's so kind of like a bunch there's of the a few flexes. Regards. Yeah, a few flexes. You can see you need all the Bang Dream Bang crits. Bang Dream, let's go. If you're not running Bang Dream crits, you don't yep. crit as much. Weaker deck. Uh, also, some people opt to play the Cyclers, which is fine, but mm -hmm. it does take up space. Yep. Uh, and then, you know, for some reason, Japan really likes Brachio Force. Or yeah, I think it's like just a, a free retired draw. draw one, yeah. Which also triggers, it just or, or bind something as well. Mm -hmm. And then a That's lot of it. some players are running best harvest best just to harvest. get the, the multi value, mm -hmm. right? Multi value. Uh, one thing also to note is that you know in this format a lot of things gain crit, so heal crits are pretty good. Mm. I think we'll probably see that evolution. That heal crit was that's the one from festival collection. Yeah, yeah. So Yikes. I you can see a lot of players here aren't running it, but a lot of the tournament results, uh, the tournament like players were mm -hmm. running heal crits. Okay. So it's definitely going to be something that's like probably just going to evolve, you know, mm -hmm. and people are going to realize it. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty funky to like, you know, change still, your heal, heals depending on your format. Yeah, it's still kind of the first like week anyway, yeah. so people are still getting used to the format, but it is something that's popped Not up. Not even a full week, it's only been like, well, five days. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, some players are running Media Flare Dragon, like the previous mm. list, but this one isn't. Um, yeah, Media Flare be. Dragon will allow you to, to negate Ava Intercepts, which is kind of cool. True. Um, but at the same time, is it significant like, enough? And it's like useless against other matchups, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's got, it, it retires, it gets 10k power, okay. so it's not bad. Mm. Um, but... Wait, what are your, your wombo combo pieces and stuff? Well, there's not really a wombo combo piece in Gandiva. Gandiva is just like a, a nice solid deck. Multi attack, bro. Well, you're already running it, so it mm. doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter, so. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, just That's just a lot of guys. lists. A lot of lists. Pretty, still pretty similar. You know, you know, same cards, just different ratios. Mm -hmm. And even uh, the triggers, like you see a mix of like, like fronts, draws. Yeah, I think I think those are pretty much down to preference. Sometimes you just want to have more draws. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you think this deck like is okay in, in terms of drawing. This is from but Minju five zero at locals. Found the best ratios for me. Mm. All right, and yeah, it's, that's fine. It's fine. Um, first week Gandiva, so very nice. And then you know, unban each please. WGP Deluxe Season One Singapore, eleventh. Uh, eleventh came eleventh out of two hundred and thirty-five players. Two thirty-five players for WGP Deluxe. Wow, man. that's, that's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. Uh, and then this was the list that was run as well. So uh, this was from sorry, was from unban each please. Right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is yeah okay. A pretty straightforward list. You know, no MFDs, right? Running two best mm. harvests, and then running the fronts as well. Yeah, uh, but no crit heals. So yeah, mm. okay. That might come. Is it re what? Reno's for boost. I think of well, Russia? his deck list was just I just like Reno. Okay. I guess it's like not bad. Sure. Yeah, you put it down 10k. It, it hits 10k, right? Mm. You lose it. You don't care if it stays like. Yeah, yeah, and then you can kind of kill it off with the Stugurna later on you know, extra bind uh, if you want to so okay. yeah. not not too bad not too bad um funky one though this one yeah similar so it's just to yeah, get on the 10k, 10k grade one hmm. is this like supposed to be a pr or something maybe i'm not sure maybe it just wasn't updated but yeah it's supposed mm. to gra this grabs on arms no but i think if you just play you just place it's a really it's a really good right is it hits 10k yeah it's 10k it's yeah, yeah. 10k Okay, all maybe right, just nice. like rushing with great ones, or um, maybe we want more great ones than deck for the flip ratio, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. like that. And maybe, maybe uh, there's not a lot of great twos though for the flip ratio. Hmm. Yeah, all right, nice, nice. Uh, and then we have a, a vs v is this v -Mans? Yeah, vehemence, Bruce. Vehemence, Bruce. So just one, just one, one. Thinking, it's just one Barrow as well. Mm. Just one. It's yeah. a deck that we haven't seen in well. It did. Get a support. Um, I think the order the is like order, yeah. cards to get power or something like that. Yeah, it's not it's not insane support. I wouldn't say mm -hmm. it's it's good enough. Yeah, and I it's like like, every, I think I feel like everything is just outclassing Barrow uh, at the moment. Kind of right. It's, it's almost it's almost like well, Barrow is like one of the original like five attacker, but now everything can attack five well, times ba and bigger. Barrow was also one of the big turn three turn three decks, mm. right? If you could high roll, yep. it makes a good but turn three. But you also have to like super hard commit into it. Yeah. Um, whereas all these other decks just gets them for free. But yeah, all the mass free. decks can like really pop off on turn three mm -hmm. as well. So uh, it sort of gets out a bit outclassed. It's definitely gotten a bit outclassed. Yeah, yeah. it can still yeah. win. You need a refurbishment like hex orb. <laughs> and it's like a common place, common place all touch five or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> that might help. That might help. <laughs> uh, and then next we have is just a chaos list from Nicholas Jacob. It's got thirty chaos. Nick cards daily tournament with chaos. Um, um, yeah, I mean the picture spells itself. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's okay. Your deck will only get better. Yeah, true. It is true. Just hope oh, the bang always come true. out. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> more different names. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving on, we have some Jujul list. So this oh, was this deck. This was widely hyped. Pricey. Yeah, this was a big hype for this deck. Mm. Uh, preset set a uh, pre 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 preset ten coming out, mm -hmm. right? And uh, you know you can see why. You know, uh, it's not because this deck is high rarity, <laughs> because you have a, like a PR that's like really good. Yeah, rocket gores that are like triple yep. R's, and then just and then you have a mass. <laughs> it's the it's the one deck. The one deck in uh in standard right now that mm -hmm. runs four masks. I think everything else, all the other decks mm -hmm. kind of run less amount of masks because yep. they run the searcher. But this one kind of doesn't because there's no point. Yeah. Um, CB is tight, and then you also have to run the Swirling and Green Grand Com Combo, and both are kind of mm -hmm. very expensive right now. Like um, you look at this deck, right from the top row, that's like mega expensive. Like you know those um. Four copies of Black Mask Dredgewell. The old Dredgewell is still expensive. The the Mask Order, like the most expensive card, you need four copies. Where the, when the other decks don't need four. And then you have like Rokugu, which is probably apparently like over two k yen. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's, it's around there, I and think. Then you get a PR, which is kind of 
hard to get now unless yeah. you like stocked up a lot of but we have things. it we have it so yeah yeah if you want if you did um but yeah um, no it's yeah. it's uh, it comes down to like the gungram and solar engine as well. as well it's yeah. just very uh, i know a lot of people are asking why no falcates and the answer is falcates is not very good in this deck because you just soul charge so much mm. that like falcate gets like zero value mm. and offers zero power on mm. your turn three that's right which is very important Our nowadays powers, yeah um the push you look here again they have that combo going the over trigger mm -hmm. as well is just the the, the double double over trigger because it makes sense you know sometimes you know you just put two on the side because you restand mm -hmm. them and just make... and like i think from like it's a pretty aggressive deck anyways because i think from like turn one or turn two you're already like usually putting multiple like cards down mm. so um yeah yeah it's yeah ot uh, o Otai, end of S Singapore WGB Season 1, going 6-2, Jeweled, really happy with how the deck performed, unfortunately missed top cut, but I'll try hard next time. Mm. Uh, this is the list inspired by uh, Mil Tai. Mil Tai. Yeah, mm. Mil Tai. So, Familiar name. Yep, yep. And he's pretty much got most of the, the, the same... Engines, yeah. Except for the Clean Sweep. The Clean Sweep is a, a bit of... To copy. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, a self... self uh, I think it depends like what kind of yeah. like... Um, what Open the decks you wanna first. Um, the thing is, the CB can be pretty heavy because like that rocker girl. Yeah, well, you, you know, it only runs two. You'll pretty much only use yeah. it on your finishing turn, so that kind of mm. kind of helps out. Yeah, but your finishing turn sometimes like your turn three. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got FL twenty eight oh two five three at single ball WGP with jeweled masks. Each run deck is fun, but high rolly unlucky mm. right and here it is just this list as well uh, a few differences right it's but like differences like one copy at the same time yeah a lot of the things are the same yeah um you know and Proust is just too good lots of thunder um crits though good stuff <laughs> yep yep uh and then we have some chrono jets this week as well mm. actually like not that many which is Especially pretty Japan. insane but i think i mean put it this way japan's been playing with this deck for so long right so yeah I think but most of these are yeah probably most of these are at wgp as well yes happen over the yes weekend. The event. so this is just how or they is, just right? like play messiah now or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. or oh, the newer decks because you know yeah yeah it's a lot of new fun decks uh, um Merv Mel melvin tcg mm -hmm. uh this was First of April, Diversity Core Gaming. Uh, deck used Chrono Jet. Went 3 1. Got to change the list due to being sick the previous day, but it works. Lost to Messiah due to out of steam. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Messiah, let's just get a few more draws than you. Right. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Soul Blast Messiah one. is like a bit more autopilot. Soul Blast 1 greater than Soul Blast 2. I got Mervin here. Uh, Melody Dream Akihabara. Uh, second place. There goes my first local tournament in Japan. Time to set up my own Bushi Navi account. Mm. Oh. Yeah, Bushi Navi. Yep, yep, and doing well already in Japan at local. So good job, Mervin. Mm. Right. Uh, and then Martin S. GG Central first place deck list piloted by James Chong. Mm. Uh, prize pack FFR Youth Bergen Fall Ava promo. That sounds rigged, <laughs> dude. What Just the saying. hell? That sounds rigged. You have <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay all right yeah cool stuff congrats congrats james all right yep. able to get the dub, right, well, get the dub. actually this this list is, is pretty insane so you you may remember after the japan ban list you have like do you want to pick um uh Swirler Swirler or, or do you want to pick gg and if you play gg you play um what's his name so the one hit dude like okay cool mm. mega soul if charge if you, if you can't decide just run all, run all, just, them, just run all of them <laughs> <laughs> cool cool yeah. cool good job good job uh and then we got yellow card tcg dark sphere locals mm. uh first Space. place was uh shian or, or shayan mm -hmm. with chrono jet uh and then second was me with avangardia and then third was james with youthberg I right. chose not to share. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, and by me, it's not me, guys. It's, it's, it's Ben. It's, ben. It's, it's the yellow card. <laughs> or Ozzy Stroll. You might know him as Ozzy Stroll. Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So that's cool. I haven't got him. Nice. We'll probably see you later. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and then Vanguard Guild Solo. Uh, Here we go. Mr. Taufik. He did win. Taufik with Chrono Jet. It's Mr. The WTS. Champion WTS? Deck. Huh? W WTS champion deck. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> so, um, is, let's is see. Is Taufik Hazik? 
Uh, there's one more, I think, after that. Okay. Top four deck list. Okay, so first was Tofik with Kronjet. Second was Reza with mm -hmm. Leonorn. Third was Argy with Barrow. And fourth was Ivan with Youthberg. So uh, here are the deck lists with the it's Youthberg. Not in order. Probably not. Uh, the Barrow, probably from fourth place up. Yeah, second place, the Leonorn. Leonorn. Oh my and god. First Leonorn. place was the Kronjet, hmm. right? Uh, and then. We have one more. It's Tofik winning again. Yes, so Vanguard Guild Solo, uh, actually a different tournament, yeah, Torfik winning again, followed by RG with the Vehemence Bruce, third was Tristan with Avangardia, mm. and then fourth was uh, Jet with uh, Luth Luthi, right, uh, and then yeah, we can look at the list of the Crow Jet here, um, and then we have the, what is this one? Lots of Avangardia, eh? Yeah, Avangardia, well, I mean... Popping off. People like the Gundam looking cards, right? <laughs> uh, Vehemence Bruce, this came second, yeah. Mm. And then last, what? Maybe last or first? First, first, first. Yeah, Crow Jet. Right, so. Hmm. hmm. Still doing it. Right, well, probably mo most of this was the foreign scene, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, yeah. Japan's probably tired of it. Well, at the same time, yeah, there was a WGP on the weekend, so. Could be many factors. Mm -hmm. I mean, people want to try a new deck. Let's just start. Right. Uh, moving on, we do have some Lakia. So this is Shiragane Ozura from uh, WGB Yokohama. Yokohama. Oh, playing Lakia. Yoku Yokohama. Yeah, playing Lakia and made it to uh, top, it's top 16. 16. Actually. So he got nice. through the cut, but lost to Megalo Nozichi on top 16. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, good effort. Good effort. Mm -hmm. All right, you'll get there next time. Yeah. Uh, and then Ralphington had our first tag fight tourney tag fight. last night, and it went very well. Uh, went, went well than I expected. Everyone was super into so much that they asked to have another one in the future. When realized that last night certain decks cards can't uh, don't do as well as they do in the usual one v one matchups. Hmm. So, okay. Uh, so there was a tag event. So you know. They had, looks like, Lukia and a lot of different decks. Yeah, and then second place, Jet and Jet, Ava. Ava. Super meta. <laughs> and third was the Bubble Boys with Jet and Nirvana. And then fourth was Vegetarian Monsters. Uh, <laughs> Aurora and um, Archive. Archive. Yeah. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, we've got some deck lists in the photos as well. You go, oh, two in one photo, it's even better. Nice, nice. So the Youth and Lakia one is here. Mm. Yeah. So they just need uh, uh, one more, you know. And then. Jet Eva. Jet Eva. Yeah, Jet Eva. Here it is. And then third was the uh, Jet, Jet and Nirvana. Grade four? Maha. 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 Yeah. And then here was the Archive, the Vegetarian, vegetarian Monsters. monsters. Yeah, good stuff. Good effort. Good effort. Um, very cool. Yeah, and cool and tournaments. Then... Tag team. It's like a mini three v three. You know, three v three. Sometimes it needs a bit too many players, but two v two can That's do it right. any time. Uh, we got Astro Unica uh, <sighs> Micro. Very sad. <laughs> it's okay there. It's, okay. it's very okay. I, I don't know. I don't know, restand and give your Riga like 5k and 10k is Dude, pretty, like, this deck would have been so bad. much better if you can run like, you know, 11 crits, right? But the fact that you can only run 8 crits and your entire deck realized and you're seeing those crits early, it's like... Sad. And then, um, by the time, like, oh, you're giving your, your cards like plus 10k. Mm. Yeah, half of your crits are already gone. <laughs> plus 10k is your average. It's, it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah. It's so weak. They need like three PR cards. Well, Ministry of Hobbies, Card Fight Vanguard, uh, Standard. First place was Jeffrey with Unica Masks. Oh. Second was Black Chew with VMS Bruce. Then third was June with Crujet. So here is. Here we go. Uh, Where are my crits? That's right. Yeah. Jeffrey. Everyone's it. wondering where the crits are. Mm -hmm. Second was. Heard you like Jazz, which is VMS Bruce. Okay. Uh, third was. I uh, got crit again. <laughs> uh, right. And then, yeah, that's, I think that's, that's, that's it. Top three. Good place, yep. Cool. All right. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. One more Astrea deck. This one is Marky. English. Got second place in my Unica I look at today. Uh, 18 plays at Darkside Games, mm. uh, Las Vegas, I think. Or 
I actually went there. I think I, I think we went there. Yeah. You went there? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You, you guys didn't know. Yeah, well, we were going around town. Yeah, so with Unica though. So OG mm. Unica. You could say this deck, OG Unica might be better than Moss. Is it? Because you get a crit. <laughs> Baiko doesn't. Just hope they don't have a PG and like, oh, you win. Mm. It's a crit Pretty crit. much. Pretty oh, much. For damage. Yep. Crit OT or for damage. Yeah, that's just that easy. Just that easy. <laughs> All right. And they've got a Fabnir. There's a song from Singa Singaporean WGP season one, 46th place. Playing Fabnir. Playing like Fafnir in WGP, bro. <laughs> Fabnir. Wow. Uh, all match Brave. starts second as well. So he, uh -huh. they, they win second every single game. Well, they did pretty well. Mm. Um, going that far. The Fabnir deck, yeah. It's pretty, pretty mm. intense. Mm. Yeah. Uh, next we have is Illusion. Fashion. Was able to get first at locals today. We didn't have enough to do an actual tournament, so we decided to do a round robin style tournament. Hmm. Um, and this is just running old school Bastion. Well, new support. Now you have um, is it the Sky Trimmer? Trimmer? Yeah, actually, there's a few cards that are new actually. Uh, but I mean, it's still Bastion grade four. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like oh, spam a bunch of grade threes on the field, restand them. Win. Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, you, again, the question is, do you play this or Youthberg? Yeah, but this is this is this has its own. This is diversity card. Mm. It's diversity card, yeah. It, it has its own type of different different kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, Hexa Orb. Now, got some amazing support. Hexa Orb actually made it back. So I was actually pretty skeptical when I saw the um, card reveals, but apparently it's pretty good. It's yeah. doing pretty well as well. Pretty good. Um, Pretty good. We see a few of them in WGP, I think. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Tear, not tearing up the format, but it just has such a just has a really strong yep. uh, grade four turn four turn. I mean, mm, not grade four turn. I mean, if, if if you know Vanguard, like you know what people say, you win and lose base on triggers. Yeah, <laughs> just play this yeah. deck. Able to stack the deck and all that. So yep, overall, very yep. very nice. Um, and we do have a few of these, mm -hmm. right? So, Dreading Angel. Huh. I think some of the differences here is just like some people run the Aquamarine in the main deck. Mm. So uh, and sometimes you just like run um the OG as um ride and not four copy. So yeah, so it's either you run the OG as the ride and then four copies of Aquamarine, or right. you run one Aquamarine in the ride deck and just so you always are on an Aquamarine. Yep. And like with the Aquamarine you do get to do the restand. Um, you just don't get any like power and all that, which is makes yep. it a bit weak, but so then you just try to cheat the soul basically. Mm, mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then a few more hex orbs, or so another one. Mm -hmm. this, this one has like a extra old OG, yeah, extra it's everything. Interesting, six copies total. Yep, yep. And then I think lastly, here we do just have a straight up uh, like four Aquamarine in main deck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there it is. Right. It's, it's just hiding. The glare was hiding. Mm -hmm. So on the middle right is the entire ride line. Well, yeah, nice, nice. Uh, good stuff. Uh, we have. Pen Blasters. Mm, not much update. Mm. No updates, actually. Um, you get two PRs. And the yeah. next playable. Uh, you might want to run Cyclers in the future. Will be yeah, interesting. You, you can. You can, yeah. It's got a bit of like a. I mean, they're all just floaters in the deck. Yeah, and they got Muck point. Mask. Fourth place, Akiba Station Playmat 20. Total was Oof. 60 play 60 plus players. 60 plus players. They can fit that in, like, Akiba Station. No, this is not, not Japan, right? Like a shop uh, that's called Akiba Station. I, I, I assume it is, I think yeah. So. I don't think they can fit any 60 players in a <laughs> Japan shop. Um, Went X1 in Swiss and then lost at top four. All three losses was against Kenti. Whoa. Sag. Actual Gandiva. Sag. Gandiva. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Youthberg. Mm. So, uh, overall, not much changes to Youthberg. <laughs> not much changes. Yeah. It's too good of a deck. Get, too good. You can play Bang ben, ben Dream on crits. That's about it. At Lucy Ang, uh, WGP at Singapore Season 1 Regional Qualifiers, top eight with Youthberg. Top eight. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a good effort. Mm. Good effort. Only gonna be improving from you. Yeah, I think. It's still a very hard tournament, so mm. congrats for making a top eight. Uh, and then we have Daryl Kwan, WGP mm. Deluxe Season 1, ranked 19th place. Alright, so 
it's barely yeah. missing the top cut. It is what it is. Yeah, mm. it is what it is. Uh, and then the next one we have is just from Lucrina Titi Zone. And it's just uh, I mean, there is Wayne playing Youthberg. So, um, yeah, Youthberg doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we also have Minerva mm. to round out the uh, entire Keta 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 Society. All right, uh, Sarah went to uh, Bug Bug Bugwheels on the ground and look played the locals. Wow, it's okay. Peter <laughs> Patter got top four, so okay, very very good, mm. very good. Congrats. And then oh, back to the beginning. And then we have some Magnolias. Right? Well, Magnolia set 10. It's like kind of alright, but. <laughs> got a PR. <laughs> got an upcoming PR. Hasn't got it yet, but yeah. it's coming. Yeah. It's... Um, revealed just a few hours ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It lets you. Uh, it, it's support for Magnolia Grade 4. Yep. If you go second, you basically get to ride grade four. Mm. Same way, um, Mahar Nirvana used to just jump. Um, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a bit hard if you're like a Leonon player, things like that. Now, mm -hmm. you're like you can just play this card instead. Mm -hmm. just play Magnolia. Magnolia grade four. It's a pretty good card. Mm -hmm. um, this is what one is from. Uh, Bob Games Academy of Vanguard. Ian um, undefeated. Birthday buff is real. Oh, happy birthday. Okay, nice. Good, good, good. Um, another... Not, we're going. There another it is. list. Catfight Vanguard. Local tournament report. Um, Magnolia can't deal with 18 base Vanguard. Oh, that's, hmm? sad. that's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, well, looks like is... they lost to Vehemence Bruce. Huh. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, with all the... <laughs> Power okay. gains. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, 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 this bling. The bling, man. Actual. Oh, actual nice. bling. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, Zorga. Huh. This is Musk? Yeah, yeah Musk. This is Mask Zorga. Zorga. I think you should only be, be seeing Mask Zorga. Yeah, so that's good. true. Yeah. Um, it's also like kind of not easy to play. <laughs> Mm, um, mm. There's so many options now with Mask and um, what you want to do in the, in the turn. Yeah, there's a lot of actions to do, so mm -hmm. you have to make sure you're, the, the actions you're doing are correct. Yep. And uh, be proactive. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it looks yeah. like a pretty fun deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, Quicks a lot from TT Zone D Vanguard tournament. Uh, I'm back after a long Vanguard hi hiatus. I've decided to come back, decided to play Zorga because it's back to my roots hmm. Hmm. well you say you just came back but you already play masks mm. <laughs> wow they just buy it man yeah. just, just, just buy it so i got players built different <laughs> <laughs> i'll come yeah. back and then andrew i went four zero in next cards gold coin with zorga mushroom so good for early rushing <laughs> and keeping advantage love it mushroom man and yeah, mushroom yeah. man yeah. it's like apparently like a lot of um a lot of people say it's like their fa their, their new favorite card for um Stoikea, which is mm. interesting because like people just see it and it's like oh this is just a comedy relief card and they actually they play it and it's like oh it's actually actually does quite a lot for my deck <laughs> yeah yeah um and then we do have oh, the on Rorua. Um, invincible under the sun hmm. so playing Rorua. hmm Went to locals and second place second this place? time with Rua. I always loves this deck, and I'm now happy. It's kind of okay. Lost only to Letitia, who won the entire thing, and then won against Zorga, Jet, Minerva, Ooh. and Bavs. That that's a lot of uh, commendable victories. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of uh, good stuff. I think yeah, a lot of people underestimate how how um, high this deck can hit. Power Ooh. lines actually. Pretty, pretty strong yeah yeah you gotta respect it uh and then we have the one of leonon masks as well right i, I don't know man every time like feels like whenever they try to update leonon it's just like it's just not good enough is it yeah i think the uh mm. i don't know man it seems like an okay deck leonon uh the only new deck that doesn't get um like tops this week is the uh 
Solarian. Yeah. Pop, yes. pop dude. <laughs> pop, pop man. Right? <laughs> pop man. Uh, but yeah, one Leonorn masks only, I think. Okay. Uh, no, I think there's... There's another one? Yeah, two. Oh, two. Okay. Two okay. Leonorn masks. Not bad. All right. Yeah. So... Mm. Overall, I, I think... Uh, hmm. I think it's it's you look at the cards like yeah it's got some potential but is it good enough in the meta? Yeah, like, it when you compare it with the other stuff, it's mm -hmm. just yeah, it's missing okay. rear guard PRs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, into our grand field list, so, so taking the the plants, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. do dodge all the removal, or otherwise, yeah, your noblest plant tokens feels bad. Yep, I just by the board bear. Bo the board ball, uh, weekly tournament 26 players. First place goes to Ardo Gupit with his Grand Fear deck 1x0. Let's see, he's first against um, uh, Horo. Oh, no. oh, okay, um, yeah, no, no removals. Okay. Life's good. <laughs> All right, uh, next we have is Seraph mm. as well, no. making a slight comeback. Seraph actually got a new triple R. Um, mm -hmm. It's like a great three rear guard that I have no clue what she does. You, uh, you, you're the expert here. Uh, yes, not no. gonna lie, I think I read the effect once and I was like, this, this card sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah, it was like, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Does it help your grade four? No. Okay. No, it doesn't, right. doesn't feel like it. Yeah. No, I, I was very unimpressed at the support. Uh, so was DF as well. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, and then another Seraph here as well. Um, um, bit of a more standard list, I have yeah, to say. Doesn't even run the new card. <laughs> yeah, actually doesn't. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Uh, and then Orphist. One Orphist. Yeah, this... Um, uh, you didn't you did get an update. Because you get um, the Cyclers. Cycler. Yeah. Uh, do you soul previously? You kind of do. I guess. Kind of, but there, it actually has two updates because it, it got a new grade two. It's pretty mm. good, I think. Yeah, at the bottom left. That oh, okay. was pretty good. Smart guy. Four copies. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, Moving to... Ava. Biggest winner. Is it? I don't think so. Uh, one of the biggest winners. I don't know. It feels like you always get an update almost every set. Oh, you, you mean in terms of like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ever. <laughs> like from... Like, remember... I thought you meant by the number of uh, place, players who, who top of this. Oh, that too. <laughs> um, well, but Japan also has diversity cuts, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that discourages yeah. you from playing this deck. Um, but yeah, um, the Cycler just happens to help this deck. Because, uh, um, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Deck a lot. Because um, in the early game, because your hand's when, like pretty small. Technically, early game is when you're weakest, but when you start drawing more cards... Mm -hmm. But you can skip that step. And and, just, yeah, you're not as, you're not as weak anymore. Yep, that's right. That's right. Uh, and then just continue on. Just a lot of Avers. Mm -hmm. And right. they're pretty much yeah. Cycler updates the deck. Pretty much your question right now is how many cyclers do I run mm, in the deck? Yeah, the, the, the deck ratios again. Um, pretty tight like slot. And like you can also have you also have the option to run um uh the Grail because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, you yeah. can play two orders in one turn, right? True. With the cycler True. actually relevant for this deck. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. What? More Evas. <laughs> Evas everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's just it's never ending. Right? Yep. Never ending. Uh, Wayne Tu. Uh, Wayne Tu. Uh, WGP Singapore Season 1. Uh, top 8. Playing my friend's deck before he sells it off. Really happy I choose this instead of others. Mm. Yeah, good pick. Oh, it's all high rarity, good investment. <laughs> <laughs> what a pal. Uh, Louis, uh, Club the Dames, Chalouse. Uh, a legit might try to play three or four Lady Fencer in this deck, but only found one before the tournament. Hmm. Huh. Lady okay. Fencer. Interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting choice. Mm. Um, and then yeah is Mervin again. WGP S Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, top so eight. Actually got into top eight. Clutched into top eight with Ava after losing my first round against the previous WGP oh. champion over a mi over oh, a misplay. No. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. But um, yeah, it's got got through day one. Was did it? Is it two days? No, I think they just played through the entire day. Uh, I think it might be two days. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. 
Um, so yeah, we've got like the top a... eight. Um, what did you lose to in top eight? Messiah. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's one of the matchup that's like interesting to see because like it's the both decks like scale really well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the early game might be a bit tricky. Okay. Mm. All right. That, all right. Congrats for making it top eight. Lots of lots of Into your fortune. Fortune Nick card standard shop challenge first place Ava. Happy with the deck and how it went. Not too much to say. Right, that's good. <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, and then we got Mina Min, Thailand Shop Tourney Report. Uh, 36 players, mm. and then came second, second place. place. So, uh, not gonna lie, Hab Habitation Zone is really good. So that's the grade three. Mm. Uh, the, huh? No, the, the grade two, isn't it? Oh, sorry, sorry. Cycler, yeah, the cycler, cycler, just misspoke. Mm. Uh, but where is the uh, only two cyclers? On this is like if you if you draw them all the time <laughs> it's like well two is all you need it's true it's true uh and then we have a welstra list from derek good games morley tournament mm. versus fam fam with welstra Damn, like, fam. He, he just plays like every single like great clan does he yeah <laughs> and second place we have derek dow hmm. second place bro now mate yeah like ever and then <sighs> Lost to some Welsh with Ava? Yo, man. Weird, dude. Maybe it's OT or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so that was Darren Leong with Ava as well. Mm. So, oh, it's two Avas. It's, it's correct. It's like Welsh try Ava, Ava. And in fourth place, we have um, Steven Witarsa playing oh. um, VM Man's Bruce. VM Man's Bruce. I thought it was going to be like some Bruce Lander stuff again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not it's not shaming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Eclipse Ed. Last night I went undefeated at locals with Wallstra. Below is the deck list I use in my matchups. Um but yeah, here is the deck. Mm. Right. And uh It's alright. It's a, um, okay. okay. It's a five attack deck, man. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's five attack with good OT. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and then we have Archites, Overdressed mm. to Impress, another first place at Locals this week for the team. This time from IK, uh, IK Hore? Or, uh, or is it LK Horai? Um, can't read this uh, yet. <laughs> oh yeah, congrats on a, uh, on just topping with the, uh, Archite, yeah? And, um... First place. <laughs> well, first place, yeah. actually. Oh, okay, first place it is. There it is. Actually, there. like, just recently built this deck. It's it's fun, but at the same time, it's like... It feels like it's very easy to me. It's like, oh, oh shit, I have something in, like, the order zone, and I forgot, forgot to like, forgot. send it to the bottom deck. Now I'm out. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's like... You, the, the, the temptation to just, like, super compress your deck is... Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have Avangardia as well. There's quite a few yeah. Avangardias this week, which is pretty insane. Yep. Um, I think part of that is it's just very easy to upgrade the deck. Well, here's the thing. Like, uh, Avangardia, like, set 9, it's like, oh, this deck is pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. But people who hasn't played the set 10 Avangardia don't know what they're missing out on. Like, yeah. that great one that counter charges is, like, so free. <laughs> yeah, and then it comes in a play and can just see you on draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the CV one like, you can play it anywhere as well. It's actually like so good. Hmm. Um Okay, okay. I, th I actually thought that card was PR before, but it's like oh, actually it's a booster card. Nice. Find something nice in the booster water. Time to be alive. <laughs> yep, yep. And then still mm. still more, you know, again. Surprise that it was this popular this week. Yeah, it's like I haven't got a very popular. Yep. And then uh, moving on, Hong Wai, right? Mm. Who also used Avangardia. Avangardia. Yeah. Also got the Bushu Bush 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 Playmat. Oh, that's Bush just the point exchange one or something? Yeah. Um, yeah which we couldn't get. And also, Sad. Nice red, red. Well, <laughs> when we're in Japan, we can like try to get some. Okay. Get, like some Bushroot credit cards. <laughs> if you haven't seen those. <laughs> yeah, Bushroot credit cards. Mm. Crazy. Crazy. That's cool. Uh, and then copy star uh, next at night. All right, back home. So Tony report went four zero mm. with Avant Guardia. That's what you want to hear. Right, that's what you want to hear. This one's um, purely set nine. Yeah, yep. it's just set nine. You know, See, English four bubble mines. <sighs> Imagine if bubble mines has come and play CB one draw one. <laughs> it is a ten K boost. 
<laughs> it doesn't go away. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and then lastly, we have Seiso here. Vigi Top Decks, second place at Avangardia. Deck is really fun and perform beyond expectations. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's well, good. I think, yeah, the deck, the deck is really fun and mm -hmm. does pretty well, especially when you flip OT. <laughs> All right, and then on to the other big chunk of <laughs> of decks, right? You know, I think just looking at the chunk here, I think Gandiva wins. Actually, yeah. I think Gandiva, Gandiva wins. actually yeah. wins. Topest topest deck this week was Gandiva. Mm. Uh, if you maybe we should just make that a game. Which deck topped the actually, most? No, I think Eva, there's more Evas. I no, I don't think there, there there was definitely not more Evas. There's like, was it what eight ten Gandivas? No, there were 17 Gandivas. Wait, 17? There were 17 Gandivas. Oh my god. Or was it 16? It was 16 or 17, because, you know, when we first okay. opened it all. Alright. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that's a lot. And, um, well, we actually have to, do have less than that amount for Messiah, yeah. thank god. Uh, um, yeah, Messiah is pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's a strong deck. I think the only but... thing you change in set 10 is adding being Dream Crits. That is... Yeah, that is that is the big change. Yeah, it's like the two things that you like, right? Bang Dream and like Messiah. I guess that's a good. That's a, just, just, it, it's a good. Uh, it's a combination. good combination. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like there's like two flex cards for um, Messiah. You either play Heroes or you play um, Soul Charge. This guy is. This is just a straight up TD. Straight up TD. Straight up TD. I think. Mm. Uh, no, no, it's got two speed. Oh. Two. Two of the, the sp spheres. Right? Spheres. Uh, and then this one is a straight up TD. Just actual TD mm. deck. Wow. <laughs> uh, which one is this? this one? It's got Mikani. I see uh, some orders. I think this. it's like yeah, Mikani under the right middle. Uh, it's a bit mm. blurry, unfortunately. Mm. But yeah, no, I see some orders. More than. I think it's like a prison order. Oh. That, that is a prison oh, it's a order. Prison. Oh, soul charging. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's soul, a soul charge charging. three to like draw cards, draw more cards. But I think it's kind of excessive <laughs> at that point. Um, here we've got the Mikani's instead. And we still right. see one sphere on the left. Just one. Just one. You can play both. I'm Actually running three of the top five search lock. Mm -hmm. I, think I think that's, that's a four copy. Right. I think that card's yeah. an absolute four copy. This deck is very is actually peace reliant, so mm. you want a like just four four. Yeah. Uh of your extenders. Exactly. So, so here we see a tree tree split between uh, M Yeah. 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 Uh, this is a mess. Prison. <laughs> this is a two prison. This is the poor poor man's list. I mean, I mean, if you have to choose between buying three Mikani's or get two prisons. Okay, um, this is 100% a poor man's list because I'll tell you why. He has one Mikani, one TD card that goes to Seoul, <laughs> and two prisons. But so, yeah, this guy can go to a steakhouse, the other person can't. No, 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 but it's... <laughs> yeah. he, he might not be able to, right? You know, if, if you could just, <laughs> just splurge out for the Mikani's, you might be able to have enough money to go to the Steakhouse as well. You know? True. Multi... The multi-value, right? Yeah. Uh, and then here is just more more Messiahs. Pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Four Mikani build. This one's another more four Mikani build. Needs. Uh, this one is a four sphere build with two Makani's. I mean, the other way to look at it, I guess, um, with Messiah, since your power comes for free anyways, the more turns you go through, like drawing cards or soul charging, therefore, gives you better win con winner win um, ratio, probably. Yeah, could be. Just like could play be. really lame, wait for like turn six or seven, and then suddenly you win. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Or deck out. Uh, we got Lux here, WGB Singapore, uh, mm. top eight. Oh no, fourth, fourth place. Fourth place. Uh, I was looking to dodge Leon Mask and Gandiva, which I always lost to during testing. Ooh. Managed to get my favorite nations. Uh, OT. OT. Hey. Nice. nice. Need Ooh. some luck in card games and say got it. Wait, he's player number 235? Is it the last to register? Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Actually, the last hey. the uh, last player number. Dang. Must feel pretty good. No, congrats <laughs> for top four. That's right, that's right. Congrats, congrats. And then we have Tsuba here, WGP mm. Singapore 2023 Season 1 Champion. Champion. So the winner is actually Messiah. 
Yes. Didn't expect to go this far, to be honest. Overall, had a blast playing with all my opponents. Uh, thank you to all my opponents that played me today. It's a great learning experience. As uh, well, as I haven't been playing in tournaments for years, last big tournaments were in Legion Era. Oh, that's Legion been a era. long time. Yeah. Yeah, so congrats, congrats. congrats. All right. And they do the correct strat, get the bang dream crit. <laughs> bang dream crit. That's, that's, that's the secret strat. The secret strat. That's that's, that's what we got to do when we're in yep. Japan. Yep. We that's gotta, the first thing. The either list. it's the bang dream crits or it's like the the anime crits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's effect crits. I think they're worth a lot of money though. So. <laughs> effect yeah. crits. Uh, now we got an interesting one here. Cold Klaus uh, made it with the uh, first place token Rambu Griffagira. Uh, beat Youthberg, Welstra, and Jet was lucky enough to make it to the three two crit a hundred million attacks. This this no, list right. actually we had to look it up. There, this list got the top D award. Yes, right? absolutely. So very interesting list. You put it. Hey, here it is. Put it right, right here, right. Yes, we don't yeah, need, you don't need the tokens, sir. Right. The dragon trip, sir. We we gave this the list because you know. Token Rambu is pretty irrelevant right now. <laughs> well, um, some people don't even know that they exist in D. That's how crazy it is. Like, yeah. Shaman King, that's fine. Even Ragnarok, people like make memes about it. But Token Rambu is just like... You never old. see it. It's old. It's like one of the oldest collab yes. sets for D. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I mean, people have been talking about, you know, imagine you run Glyphagira in like Shaman King or yep. something like that. Yeah. Uh, to deal one damage wall. Yes, pretty good. Um, but you know, this one actually made it work. Yep. So the combo is like. Well, before that, well, let's, let's explain how does the over trigger for Token Rambu work, right? So the over trigger is like a order over trigger. Uh, <laughs> so what it does is on when you trigger it, you get a. Well, the, the main thing is you, you trigger it because you're Glyphagira mm. and it gives all your units crit. Is that it? Plus one crit, yeah. You get so, power? No, no, they don't. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. But it's like it's like a bad version of this the, the brand gate one. Yeah. Because yeah. Brand gate get doubles power. And doubles power and crit. Yeah. And crit. This one just pluses one. Yeah, plus one crit to the whole all your units. Including back row? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, but the, the difference is this is an order, uh, so you can play it from hand, and I think it gives all units 10k power. Wow! So, unlike the Brankate one, you can play it from hand, but it has zero shield. Yeah, that, so. that's so impressive. But that that, that, that <laughs> doesn't that, that doesn't matter because the shield doesn't matter because it's not in your deck anyway, mm -hmm. right? So it's your ride deck. Wow. Um, um, so it's a it's a disastrously bad OT, but. Um, so you, you've got like two two rear guards. Um, yeah. One of them can restand itself. Yes. Um, and the other one uh, copies power. Yeah, so it copies power. <laughs> so the idea is like you give the power to the restander and it swings for like two crits twice, million twice. twice. And then you copy and the power with the with other the guy. Card. And then that's the third yeah. two crit a hundred million. Swing. So that's six. That's six crit. That's six damage. Six damage. If they don't have like a PG or like yeah. You know, it's not. It's <laughs> dude. The deck's not a one shot deck, but yeah. it's clearly like if your opponent's not prepared, they're gonna like <laughs> they they they're just gonna have to guard something. Yeah. They have to. I think they need like four PGs. So they need four PGs. If they're at four damage, they need four PGs mm. because you trigger OT. Your you can say your Vanguard also has crit, yeah? Has crit, yeah. yeah. So you're, they have to PG that, or otherwise they'll die. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, your Regard will swing twice, mm -hmm. so they need more PGs for that. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, the, the PG. Yeah. So four PGs, if yeah. they're not, if your opponent doesn't know what, what's happening... Uh, <laughs> yeah, they can, they're they can actually win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually just dead, right? So, so uh, pretty cool deck. Yeah. Pretty, pretty funny, <laughs> funny gimmick, gimmicky deck. Pretty nice. Uh, it gets the top D award this week. Oh, not, not everyone's gonna go scrambling trying to buy like token rumble cards. <laughs> yeah, I think the hardest part of this is finding token rumble cards. Oh. Uh, overall, I don't think the deck, the cards are that expensive. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go find someone's like dungeon and like dig their like cases of token rumble that never got sold. Pretty much, mm. pretty much. But yeah, this is the uh, very cool deck. Wins the wins the wins the wins the award this time because it's actually week. pretty funny. Yes, it's actually pretty funny. Um, moving on, let's go to the uh, 
to the next list we have is now into lyrical. Mm -hmm. So we have Felty Rosa. This is from mm -hmm. Xenof Xenof Xen Xenofron. Uh, went to my first IRL tourney and went 5 0 with Felty Rosa. 5 0. 5 0. With this deck. I had a great time at Golden Glory Gaming with everyone. Thanks to Black Guy Senpai for inviting me. Um, and yeah, so good job. 5 0 with Felty Rosa. And uh, guess what? We saw the, the support it's getting this week, all right? I think the deck's pretty Mad good respect. moving into uh, going to the, the festival collection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seems pretty good. All right, seems pretty good. Okay. You're, you're a big simp for this deck. No, no, fan. Fan? Fan, fan? fan. okay. Um, but 5-0, that's super impressive. I can't even get 5-0 with like other decks. Like, dude. Washed up, dude. Yeah, I know, right? You're washed yeah. up. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, should be good. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's actually looking More like... More things coming up strong. for the Delta Rosa deck. Hopefully, right. hopefully we'll be okay this time. Please. <laughs> Hope you. Uh, then we have some powerful, this powerful deck. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know... Spirit Power. I think this is question. sold out in English, apparently. I think TCG plays like yeah, sold out. Septo is also super undercracked, I think. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So pretty interesting. Um, and then we have another no, powerful like list as well. Two powerful lists. Wow. Yeah, two powerful Lots lists. of the powerfuls. Everyone's speculating that it might get another speculating. PR. speculating. That makes it even I better. Mean, Vanguard deck updating is kind of like speculating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have one more lyrical deck. Good old Letitia. Yes, yes. I have a Letitia here hmm. as well. Yeah, that's an initial grid one. Who is that? Uh, um, looks like it goes to somewhere. Can't really read it. It gives something power. Right, it's, okay. But yeah, uh, it's a Japanese build mm. um, of the tissue. So cool. Okay. Uh, and then we have a Discord list here as well. So this one is. Uh, well, let's bring it up. Yeah. So this is the. Uh, this is from A Dogs TCG from Mega Games. Uh, went got first place and went second every game. So nice. Looks like they played best of three as well. So. And that's eight zero. It's an 8 0. 8 0. 2 0 to everybody zero everywhere. Going, second going second with Lutitia. That's pretty good. Yeah. Right, that's pretty good, I have to say. So, uh, congratulations there. All right. Good good job on the, the, the sweep. Mm. Um, and then next we have is some of the. Uh, <laughs> the oh, Evisu with Bang Dream. Wow. So, are you going to actually buy this deck? What? Evisu? Yeah. I think. It's fine, right? Because we don't have so we have every decks in English, but we don't have Ebisu. Yeah. So it's kind of actually buy it. We can also play it as well. Is it still? It's still strong. We still see it top. It's every actually week, meta, right? It is actually. It's actually not like damn meta. it's not beating out of. It's not beating everyone, but still like it's still a good deck. Good deck. I that, mean, that's funny. Five attacks and like free shields, pretty good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe. Look, if you if you buy it, I think it's. A, it's I just wanna like. I wonder how how much is it, did it cost? Actually, I need to look it up. That's a good question. Yeah, that's mm. a good, it might be cheap. I actually be cheap. You know, like this. Like, like I, I've seen so many like high rarity versions of the deck. It feels like it's one of those super crack sets as well. Huh. Um, but here we have DJ, DJ Arcane Weekly Vanguard Monster Strike Tenka Goken. Mm. So this is not actually a Bisu. Yeah, this so. is the, the cool um, Monster Strike deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and got second. So mm. uh, very nice, very nice. And then lastly, just another oh, Shaman Japanese Shaman King. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now you can play Grail. <laughs> the Grail. Wow. Nah. <laughs> but it was, I was going to say, you can play um, um, Bang Grim, but you can't because right, you need Oversoul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sad. Actually, at least we can't run. No, no, no anime collabs. <laughs> sad. Yeah, yeah, very sad. Very sad. Um, uh, yeah, that is all for uh, the D. D. Uh, we got a few V lists coming up as well. Mm -hmm. And then. Like Japan's some, got some peelers. We witch. So here is witches. Uh, is it witches? Yeah, yeah it actually it's witches. Is. Oh, I, I okay. s whenever I see this card, yeah. I'm just thinking Luar. <laughs> Luar. Oh, Luar. It's not Luar. It's, it's actually mm. actually witches. Okay, mm. cool. Japanese witches, uh, and then some gold paladin. So uh, spectral. Mm. This one's with the spectral. Um, just pure spectral. They can run Percival, right? Yeah, they can. But oh, no, 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 it's hidden. It's, it's hidden behind the Aglo. Oh, one Aglovel. One, 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 one Aglovel now. Oh so, my god. What a nerf. What a bad nerf. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't doing anything. Oh, here um, it's the same. Here's the hyper nerf. Oh one my god, dude. With the <laughs> deck just. 
I mean, you only write it once, so but I guess sad. if it goes to damage, then it's GG. Yeah. It's yeah, or if you draw it, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, KSC Crow went X1 today at Locals of Gurgit. Loki, this deck is pretty good. We went on ahead and implemented the new ban list. Early enough to say, V hasn't changed with the new decks, but the format feels a lot more open now than ever. Uh, PS Canaris is good. You mm. know what else is good? Four Aglavale in our meta. <laughs> but True. Zero personal, though. Zero personal. Actually, which one's better? 1-1 one, one or, like, 0-4? Uh... I think 0-4 is better mm. because you got rid of the problematic card, yep. right, which is Percival. Um, and it, your games don't come down to just top decking the, like, the, the one of Percival. One copy, that's right. Yeah, that's uh, true. And then Aglovel, sure, like you can, you, you, you get to put cards into mm -hmm. Soul. I think that's just, I, I think, think it's, it's, it's balanced. Plus it's like 9k base, right? It's not like, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Agreed. So, yeah, I think, I think Alice is better. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Nice. Global nice. Boucher. Yeah. Uh, and then... Ari Des, SBCG Weekly Tournament. Uh, Aglavel Restrict to 1, no problem if Plan B can go. Uh, what is what is Plan B? Plan B? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What is, what is Plan B? Hmm. I guess just put in Canaris or Fallon? Yeah. Or, and this is not Fallon, this is Paranor. Uh, all right. Okay. I'm sure. Um, we'll dig, we'll dig. All right, good job, Ari Des. Uh, we got some Japanese... Uh, Overlords hey, here. Hey, Overlord. You can Ooh. see he's running one of these VMC old <laughs> Overlord wins just to show it off, just for the flex. But if you don't have it, you don't need to do it, guys. Yes. Um, <laughs> don't bother, but it's just, just a rebirth deck. Um, it's Kihan, SPG, CG, Ooh, Weekly, and V-Pronto. Yeah, first Winner place, Vanquisher. Vanquisher, Vanquisher with Jeffrey. Uh, second was uh, Gurgit uh, by Aluiden. There it is. Mm -hmm. And then third place was Blade Master Soen. Um, Applied by Christ. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so good job. Good job, guys. 26 plays for this one, actually. For so, v, yeah. Uh, and then we got a Japanese, a Murakumo list. All right. So not many changes. It's a few, there's, well, there are a few changes from, I guess, the old kind of Yasuo list. <laughs> but, uh, uh, well, this is just the um, no, uh, what do you call it? Share Yuki list, I think. Mm, yeah. mm, mm, okay. One Stargate from Mr. Turkey. Good mm. Guy Games Tuesday Weekly Tournament. Uh, first was Turkey himself. Himself. With Enigmin. 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 Um, and then second was Kenji. Uh, Eric with Reindeer. Mm -hmm. Actual Reindeer. Wow. Uh, third was Ahmad with Luad. So not witches. <laughs> uh, and then fourth was Gregorius with Melody. Oh my god, update. Yeah, full power. Is it full? Uh, no, can't, can't. It is full power. Is the balance in effect? Oh, I think it is. It, it is. is. So, well, yeah, full yeah. power. Full power Melody. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, there, there it is, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while, but uh, it's back. Yeah. Um, We have just Kenzie and Raphael got second in V Locals today with, you know, Good Steam, old Steam, Steam Maiden. Maidens. Um, well, you know, we can you gotta, you gotta play it before it's Gone. banned. 27, right? One last ride of Enterana, you'll be missed. Anyway, back to Premium Maiden face down is second jet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then some Radiant Vanguard here with Hermelin. Mm -hmm. Ask locals with first was Valios. Angel Stein mm. with, yeah. Is it that values? Yeah. Yeah, it is uh, values. I haven't seen that too much. Usually it's um just average. Yeah, values. Okay, okay, I dig, I dig. Uh second was Glenn Vetsupens with yeah, Jet. V mm -hmm. V Jet, okay. And then third was Thibault Flyman with Lucia. Ooh, silver Torn V. That's mm -hmm. that's the one mm -hmm. I haven't seen for a while. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, we have Outer Orange, V Prim mm. Orange, 3 1 with the recent Balance active and Aqua Force promo active. Lost last round to Thavis, Loki, that promo is insane. Mm. Yes. The power of promos. Yeah, well, no, I agree, that promo is really good. <laughs> Aqua Force, actual, <laughs> Pro so buff. PR Force, like we say, all pro the time. Promo Force. Promo yeah, Force. Promo force. <laughs> Actually, I think like all the great. Two, is it? Twos are approaching promo status? Yeah, it's like, well, Adelaide. Ten. Uh, well, despite Aussie's face getting reprinted, it's still like a PR dude, right? Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, and then we got another Discord one here as well. This looks like it's uh, 
It's uh, Ange, yeah, Ange. It's from uh, Scarecrow Kaiser, otherwise known as Kyle Warfield. Mm. And second place in V Premium Spring for Fest. Yeah, Springfest Doll last week. So, yeah, good job. Good job. Ange right. list. Ange, also a list that's still pretty good going into the new format. You know, you, you have some choice at least with Bermuda Triangle. What to pick. So, yeah, nice. Got, got second place. Yeah. Uh, and then next, lastly, we have uh, some. We have, we have an interesting V list here from Japan. Uh, this is Ra Razor Suilin, right? Raz, mm. Raz, Raz. Uh, fortunately, I don't know what Raz does. I only uh, know what happy, I don't know Happy Hollow World in this. And this does a bunch of <laughs> yeah. wombo combos, yeah. and you're dead because you see Romain play it as well. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason. That's actually the only reason. Like Raz. Yeah. It was like I, I remember it was like it was like a weird weird kind of I mean it was like I a full promo them, or something. Hmm. I think yeah, it was I think there was something with Raz that made it harder to get, I think. Hmm. I think, or was it like another one? Um but yeah, that's that's cool. Okay. And lastly we have like one premium list. This is from this Japan, one. right? This is a regalia, a premium list. And we've seen this list around. Yeah, it's 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 just a stock standard premium regalia that's yep. That's good. You play vanilla team because you don't want to deck out. Done. Yeah. Nice. No. All right. And that is it, it this week. Uh, lots of uh, lots of crazy lists, especially this one. Yeah. Right? Love the, it. Love the, it. The winning list. Uh, but not just this list. That was really cool. There were a bunch of other ones that were... set ten ones. Pretty good. Set see. ten evolving format. Lots of things to explore. Mm -hmm. Or even just like you know set ninety English decks. You know, it's it's pretty cool to see people like trying different kind of builds. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, look, if you guys want to submit lists, remember hashtag VGTopDex on Twitter. Um, if you've got some nice premium lists, <laughs> looks like yeah. premium's been pretty bare these last few weeks. I but, think you know. also, like, a lot of the premium players that even are around us that we know, um, they just play in private, um, yeah. play a few games and swap cards. Well, the reality is, yeah, to, the reality is, like, um, having, like, a tournament often, tournament yeah. for premium mates, it's quite, it is quite rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just sure. how it is. Um, we still get results from from Springfest. Yes, Springfest. How it has been. Locals everywhere is on a, yeah. on the on the D train. Mm -hmm. It's getting super popular recently. It's good. It's good. But yeah. Hashtag Weed Topics on Twitter. Uh, and if you don't have Twitter, you can always post on Discord. Mm -hmm. But we do prefer Twitter. Yes, right, that's just how it is. And uh, look, you might win the uh, the nice flexing award. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> top D of the week. Yeah, the top D. You could become the top D. Uh, Criteria is we just choose. Yeah, we just choose. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, you, if you somehow picked our interest. Um, with something good or something silly or something that's just like out of this world. If it's too silly, we probably won't pick it. That's yeah, why Norman yeah, yeah. did a week last week. Yes, because yeah. like, come on, I, I can do that. Like, yeah. I can do that here, right here. True, true. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, put something cool and uh, you might win. Yes. Right. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for sharing the list and we will see you all uh, next week. Maybe. Yep, very soon. Question maybe. mark. Um, maybe. I'll, I'll maybe. have to see. Yeah. I'll have to see. Otherwise, it might just be me and we'll have a, yeah. like a two hour discussion on the meta. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right see y'all have a very good weekend all right bye, bye.